Okay, friends, let's see. I, uh, 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 I wonder why I'm hearing that. Okay. Gone, gone, gone. Very good. Okay, this is our, apparently our last official um, discussion. And it has to do with the practical issue of what we recognize. Now, none of us uh, recognizes everything, and it's a group process. We're looking for those, whether we are right or wrong, and that's not so important. It's more why we think we are right. We are looking for those who are members of the new group of world servers today or in the relatively immediate past. I don't want to go back to biblical times. I, I want to go back maybe 100 years at the most, something like that, when it came into existence. And we're going to um, look at it according to ray energy. Naturally, that would be the way to do it because we serve according to our soul ray. I regret that I did not have a chance to read uh, rays four, five, excuse me, four, five, six, seven methods of service but I have to leave something for you to do so if you will go to esoteric psych psychology 2 and and look up the third law of the soul which is the law of service you will see the next few short paragraphs showing you how those upon the fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh rays serve. You know, uh, I'll show you just very briefly where you will find. And um, let's see, I think maybe, oh, I don't know. Let's look there. And here it is right here. This is it. Okay, uh, United Nations is filled with fourth ray servers and they're looking for compromise there's been um, someone here in finland and generally in the scandinavian countries they're filled with peacemakers well and, and right here in finland uh, what was his name Altasari? what's his name the man who, Mati. yeah, 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 and there are there are a number of them. They go into these highly conflicted areas, but I'm not yet looking for the names, not yet. And the fifth ray types, they're going to be working. Um, they're going to be working specifically on the reincarnation. Uh, issue. They investigate the form and they're finding what uh, lies behind it. What's the idea uh, behind the form? They're very active today. Um, 
They're leading people into the world of meaning. And this is the important thing. Their discoveries will end the present era of unemployment. And their investigations uh, and improvements will add steadily to the idea of group interdependence um, and will eventually ameliorate human conditions so that one of the big causes uh, of not having enough causes of war will be uh, obviated, will be uh, banished. So sometimes you wonder all these robots are appearing <laughs> for various purposes. And most people say, hey, they're taking my job. But um, in fact, it's going to be quite the opposite and they will be liberated for leisure. Humanity will be liberated for self-cultivation. I'm just, I'm just being very, you know, very light here. Um, the six ray types, how do we really recognize ideals? Um, and the main work of the disciples on this ray is to capitalize on the developed, already developed, tendency of humanity to recognize ideas and avoiding the rocks of fanaticism and the dangerous shoals of superficial desire train the world thinkers so ardently to desire the good, the true, and the beautiful that the idea that which that the idea which should materialize in some form on earth can shift from the plane of the mind and clothe itself uh, in some form on earth. Well, you know, it's part of the magical process to ardently desire the good. Um, so they're working with desire, and you know how it is possible to arouse groups of people so that they really want the good. Sometimes they really want the bad, and other six types get in there, and they work at the demagogues negatively work with this energy. And then finally, the seventh ray uh, disciples um, to manifest the plan, really, on earth. Um, they organize the evoked ideal, which will embody as much of the idea of God as the period of humanity can evidence and put in form on the earth. Make sure it really happens. Well, you get the idea. Uh, turn to page 143, 44, right in there, and finish it off. Read how the different people, <clears throat> read how the different people serve. And this comes into a new method called, uh, instead of dictatorial methods, it's uh, leadership of a group by the group. <coughs> so, um, uh, these are so good. There's a difference between imposing an idea and evoking it, organizing it, and they start organized movements and um, for the good. As, uh, have you noticed this um, group of people, they call themselves Avaz, A-V-A-A-Z, or Avaz. Oh. They're in on every worthy cause. They find them. They bring the values to your attention. They ask for your participation in petitions. They ask for contributions. 
and they help you. They organize your intervention in making a better world. So just keep uh, your lookout for Avaz. It's liable to appear on your uh, in your email, or you can look it up and you can see it's a very, very, very worthy um, method. And these seventh day disciples, they use magical words, words of power. The great invocation is considered to be a word of power. So you know, before we say, well, how do the servers visible today serve on the different rays? We have to have a little idea about how servers on those rays serve. Sometimes it's really obvious, and sometimes it's more subtle. You know why? Because unlike first-ray servers, seventh-ray servers tend to work behind the scenes. They, they don't seek the limelight. They just organize the mess that everybody else has made. And they find a way to help the good happen uh, in a manifestational manner. Uh, would you spell that one more time? Would I say that one more time? A V A A Z. Yeah, I, I believe. I believe. Uh, you know. I, yeah. I, and it, obviously, it means something. A vast organization. The World in Action, a U.S. based nonprofit organization launched in 2007, promotes global activism on issues such as climate change, human rights. As a matter of fact, I tell you what, one of the big ways the seventh ray types serve is through uh, ecology and preserving the balance of nature. And you know, in, when the poachers are going in and killing all these wonderful animals, it's the seventh ray organizations that are going, are countering them. I, it's not loud enough. I'll make you, uh, so you can't speak, you can't just speak because I, I can't, uh, I can't get you there. Um, I'm sorry. I'll do my best here. Just give me a moment. So here's Pamela. And there you go. Now, what did you want to say? Sorry. Now I hear. Okay. I was going to say that uh, Aquarian energy is involved with that seven ray uh, because it's uh, related to ecology. Yes, that's true. And you know what's really interesting? Uh, what's really interesting is that it's not that the seventh ray cycle always occurs with Aquarius. No. That is an independent cycle. And it can be Aquarius 1, Aquarius 2, Aquarius 3, all through the seven rays. Now, this is a, I think it's something like the seventh time that the seventh ray cycle has occurred with the uh, Aquarius um, equinoctial age since the. <laughs> Um, uh, since the Aryan age began, something like that. There's some significant statement somewhere that this is the number seven, and so it's time really to manifest this. But but you have to realize that Aquarius is more even 
a fifth ray sign than it is seventh ray sign. It just happens to be coinciding with the seventh ray. So you get an idea. Now, look, I want to make things easy, and I want to spare myself having to be omniscient here. I'm certainly not. And, you know, it takes the group observing uh, life and what people do to come up with suggestions. And I'll tell you what, maybe someone, um, I don't know, could you, uh, Joanna, write down the names under the rays that we have? And maybe I'll try to do a little something on that too. Um, but I want to make sure that I get them. Now we don't know whether we're we don't know whether we're wrong. In some cases, we do know we are right. I'm going to make well no, <laughs> I'm going to make these quite big. So you can make a list that looks reasonable. I'll just throw stuff down. Okay. Now I'm not going to start with Ray One. No. Why might that be? <laughs> We're secondary group here, and we're much more, I think, I, uh, get rid of this here. I'm backing up my whole computer. <clears throat> After having some sad things and seeing some bad things occur. Now, let's start with Ray 2. And um, let's see if I can <clears throat> yeah, we'll do it we'll do it that way. Okay. Now since we're a Ray Two group and we are in touch with many other essentially Ray Two groups and if they they're not entirely Ray Two if they're Ray 1, they are fundamentally Ray 2. We can talk, we can talk about people who love their fellow human beings, who are skilled in action, who are intelligent, who see ahead. You know, all these things that we said were qualifications for the new group of world servers. They have a vision. They're functioning under the Horus, the Ajna Center. They're creating harmony where they go because they're a Ray 4 group, essentially, and they're making sure that no breaks occur between the past and the present. That's what DK says is such a good thing about the fourth ray, and then he says, look, uh, not many fourth ray disciples yet, but a lot of them are working at the UN. You know, and, and that doesn't necessarily mean not just in the entertainment business. It's like, like, you know, there's some wonderful actors. When you look at someone like uh, uh, Daniel Day Lewis, if anybody's familiar with his acting, he can transform himself into anything. And so could uh, Laurence Olivier. Who knows? Maybe for some of the supreme actors and Meryl Streep, it's hard to say. We, are we seeing the soul? What are we seeing? But in the arts, you will find these people, but not necessarily just because they can play an instrument or sing or act, okay? So we don't know. 
for sure. We don't know enough about their soul. But when I saw him play Abraham Lincoln, I thought I was I thought I was looking at Lincoln. You know what I mean? There there's some people that are just amazing in their ability to identify with others and become those others. Now look who who which modern people are fulfilling these qualities. And remember, some of the, you may have heard of some of the higher ones who are third and fourth degree initiates, which doesn't mean there's not thousands of good people working in the servers that you're never gonna hear about because they're not prominent yet. Okay, so who would we say? Well, he, he's the one that's liable to come up. <coughs> How do you spell it? AI. AI. This is it. And I don't think anyone can doubt that he's on the high end of the new group of world servers on the second ray and a lot of fourth ray. He really is an amazing harmonizer. When Tu and I were in Tallinn, some time ago Dalai Lama was visiting and the president was too afraid to come and meet him because it was some Russia was saying no, you know. So they wouldn't come up and meet the Dalai Lama. And uh, so, <laughs> One of the uh, members of the press said, uh, "Your Your Holiness, um, suppose our president had the courage, actually had the courage, to come out and meet you. What would what would you say to him?" Well, I would say, hello. <laughs> you know, immediately the whole situation diffused. He knew what to do to create the harmony, the humor. You know, he talks about himself. He says, I love, he probably has a fifth in mind. I love to take watches apart. He says, I just not so good at putting them back together. You know what I mean? He he makes people relax with humor, and I'm just like you, although he's a high, high initiative. Okay, Dalai Lama. Who, who else? Uh, Nelson Mandela, not under Ray 2. No, but I mean, you know, this doesn't mean that these rays are not there. As a matter of fact, I think Mandela has a ray to personality, personality, but not his soul. A friend of his, who's a friend of the Dalai Lama, so they really enjoy being with each other. He's a real Christian. He's a real thing. And um, high in the church, but not that kind of firebrand, you know, not that. Instead, he's a very broad and understanding man, right? So some of these, some of these the luminaries really stand out. Um, you know, in um, in the tapestry books, I offer a lot of examples of rays, but that's from across history, long before the new group of world servers would have been established, long before that. So we can't go back too far. Now, um, 
who else? And, and let's just say uh, you can write in uh, those of you who are not in this room, but use the little question mark thing. We're working on the second ray. Members of the new group of world servers as we would see them. Any? Michael. Other? Yes. Diana says Angelina Jolie. Well, you know, I have a feeling she's heading in that direction. So that's, I think it's not happening entirely, but she certainly knows that fact. Matter of fact, we just don't know to what extent the six ray is involved as well for Angelina Jolie. But first ray or second or six ray, uh, uh, she no look. Uh, she's a Gemini. She's a Gemini with a lot of rulership in Libra, but she has the 29th degree of Cancer rising. The great mother. Okay, she's got six kids. Are they all adopted? I don't know. I think she has six adopted children. I put it under the sixth ray because of the way she approaches. Angelina. Uh, not, I'm, I'm right with, these days, the way I feel, I'm right with, right with the right angina. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Okay, BL, you can help me. As, well, of course, you know, when you really look at it, that's, of course, true. And, um, you know, all of these people who are around the Tibetan and his yeah, earnest students, well, here's another one, of course. Yes, he's definitely. Now, should I put... Should I put Foster Bailey here? Well, that's nice, but the wrong ray. Wrong ray. And I don't want to, you know, I don't want to put the wrong ray, huh? So, hold on just one second. Hold on, hold on. It's not being heard. Hmm. Um, I, you know, there's something peculiar here, and I'm just going to rely upon uh, Joanna for getting the right formatting here um, because I'm not doing it for sure. But that doesn't make any difference for right this moment. Michael, when you have, uh, there are comments when you have a moment. Yeah, I'm going to take a look. Okay, Foster Bailey. And um, Roberto said, Julie, okay. Those particular people and the lesser people there, too. The higher people in the organization and the lesser people uh, on the world stage. The people you don't know, uh, who was behind the scenes, yes, yes. Come from completely unknown, and they are usually third degree initiates, these people, as high as that. Yes, and even the fourth degree is possible. You know, but there's also, there's also those many, many, many turned off who work behind the scenes. Who are simply ordinary, uh, yeah. totally dedicated people. They may not be as especially distinguished as you say, or they may be. Now, here I'm going to say, um, I'm going to put another person here. Uh, out of church. Uh, he drank 
uh, he womanized and he used the Shambhala force in a pure and disinterested manner. Okay, so some of the leaders, and of course, I have to put in the great disciple, uh, as DJ calls him, Franklin. And I, I can't think that Winston Churchill should be left out. You know, it was a very smart man, Winston Churchill. You know what he did after all the war business was finished? Not only did he get into art and all of his methods of self-expression, but he wrote a sixth volume, I think it was, a treatise on the history of the English-speaking people. He got the Pulitzer Prize for it or one of those prizes. I mean, this, this man was a genius in his own way and uh, a political savior of Europe and his country. Now I'm going to, as uh, um, so actually, I'm Veronica's working with Avaj. She says here, um, and they're becoming, they're under the seventh ray, she says, and becoming more and more sensitive to the ecological issues of plant and animal life and so forth and pollution, etc. Yeah, it's a very powerful way. Okay, now I can't. I don't know enough to say anything about John Lennon, but uh, you know he died young. I who knows what he might have become? He had a huge influence. Um, <coughs> this is very. Painful, but it's possible that we could put him under the fourth ray because you can serve along your personality ray line or your soul ray line. So let's put him in. I don't know enough not to. Heike also added Ram Das and Louise says Jimmy Carter. I would say, um, I would say yes. Yes. Leonard Cohen. No, 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 no. Uh, Leonard Cohen. Oh, he was a monk. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs>
We can't hear you, Michael. That's only because I'm muted. Okay. I'm sorry. Just having a little issue here. And Louise added Jimmy Carter. Absolutely. And look, Jimmy Carter, I could put in both places. He's a separate soul, obviously, to me. And he's on his way to the second ray, obviously, to me. Anyway, you know, what do you do? This habitats um, for humanity. Isn't it so? I believe so. Now let me fix this up. And set as default, okay, okay. Jimmy Carter is a very good one. He, you know, he's, I keep on looking, is there a president who really lives up to his own ideals? And th those ideals are positive. Well, look. He um, had high interest rates. They tried to get rid of him because of his impact on financial circumstances. They succeeded in getting rid of them. And what did he do? Go lick his wounds. He went out there and he served humanity incredibly. Here he is, 95 years old with a hammer in his hand. He's a double Libra with a Scorpio something. Yeah. Who is it now? Who is it now? Marianne Williamson, who is going to be perhaps the president of the United States. Let's hope. Well, Mary Williams, not. <laughs> yes, I, I agree. Let's have, yeah. When you finish talking, go off, so otherwise you get that big echo. Uh, Mary and Williamson seem to, and maybe, you know, brought some degree of humanism and sanity, and obviously her poetry is just all about making the human being better and in such a beautifully sophisticated way he operates it's amazing that she even ran the president but it was more to leaven the crowd of candidates who are all talking about you know the bread and butter issues and power and all the rest of it and she comes in with what is it like to be a true soul, a true idealist? What do you think of Tulsi Gabbard? What do you think of Tulsi Gabbard? I, agree. I don't know enough to say about it. Uh, she, is a, uh, she is a Hawaiian uh, representative of some kind, and I just couldn't say. Not yet. She has some very tough views um, concerning defense, and that's one of her watchwords uh, to be elected because of her experience in the military. That's about what I know. I, I don't know much more. Now, let's see what else. Is Hi, Michael. Here? Yes. To add Jinda, I'm sorry, I don't know her last name, the Prime Minister of uh, New Zealand. It seems. And then, and then you also have um, a number of new ones from um, Antoinette, Frida, Cassandra, and Chris. I'm looking at them right now. 
uh, teach not to hunt. See, the spiritual teachers, are they members of the servers in general? Yes. And I think uh, this man uh, is a spiritual teacher, Antoinette. I think I'm correct. Is that is that so? Yes. Oh, I, I you know, and I would actually say, let, let's just let's just say yes that he is that. Let's just say yes, and we would say that a lot about many. Um, so T H I C H N H A T, and uh, you know, I'm not used to. The spelling here, mm, T H A N. Um, now let's see. Uh, B L said, "Aha." Uh -huh. B L said something, and I and I had someone in my mind very strongly, and it fell out. You know, there's an there's an uh, an Einfall. It's the German word for intuition. And there, maybe there's something called an Ausfall, <laughs> when it falls out and that's it. <clears throat> uh, I'm trying to think of, um, there, there, yeah, I'm trying to think, of course, when it comes to the seventh ray, I would say that um, the author, Carlos Castanedas, was important. Because he introduced us to Don Juan. <coughs> so I'm going to put him down. Because he he's relatively recent. And um, he uh, introduced the seventh grade types to a whole new way of thinking about their magical abilities. So, sorry for the bad formatting. Okay. How about, how about Nikola Tesla for seventh grade? Uh, uh, Tesla, yes, was a combination. As a luminary, he's, a, I think, a, a fifth ray soul with a seventh ray. You know, he was, you may have read about him. Maybe you've uh, read a biography. As a personality, he was ultra fanatically uh, neat and orderly. And uh, it seems to me that there's a combination of scientific magic there. So let's put him down under both the fifth ray and the seventh ray. And I think it's correct. Tesla. We're going to that's okay. And here is a two. This should be a two. You know, this is not meant for a beautiful presentation. Uh, and uh, but Tesla, of course, is now being discovered, and he wanted to give things to humanity and. Actually, he was opposed by the money interests, of course. And they say uh, not only is the theory that he starved to death in his bleak New York apartment, but he was actually done in. But who knows? We don't. We don't know exactly. But he had. Um, some amazing abilities that are still being uh, researched. He was ahead of his time. The old, um, was another man too on the fifth ray. Uh, they say he was so close to certain discoveries that the 
mean, it's almost like a joke. The masters had to come in at night and scramble his notes. <laughs> so he couldn't. Was his name Greeley or I, I, I can't remember the name. But he was one of those people that uh, in the theosophical days was right on the trail of the vril and the the ether, the subtle energies, all the rest of it. Let's you have I... about uh, 10 more suggestions in the questionnaire. We cannot rush. Cannot rush. So I just say. So Ram Das is there. Yes, yes, yes. And and you know the 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 just because you're a spiritual teacher, it doesn't mean you're necessarily a member of the servers. There there have been some pretty off the chart spiritual teachers. <coughs> you have read now about John of God. Not so good, huh? He's a Brazil. A lot of people go to him to get healed and uh, um, have an abusive experience. You know. I'm not hearing. Oprah. Oprah. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That, that, that would be correct. That would be correct. And let's put her under the second ray. It's much easier to find the second ray types. We'll try to see if what's going on in third ray. Well, we all have different. He's an intelligent man who writes good things. It's hard to it's hard to say just yet. On, what? On surface, it was quite nice. Many mountains or second mountain. So what is what ray would you put him under? I don't know. It's hard. It's it's hard. hard. He's always lucid. He's always readable. Third ray, I don't know. How it's important to know how people think rather than about what they think. How it's important to know what he said. He just wrote, I don't know how, what race he wrote yesterday about uh, how important it is to know in terms of politics about how people think and why they or have arrived at their conclusions rather than what the conclusions are. Okay. Okay. Now, I just thought that's what we were talking about. How do you? How people know how people are affected by the thoughts rather than what they think about. Like rather, rather than content, it's the context. Remember the Okay, I would that's what I would have to put him under the I'll put him down because who's to say? But we get this impression. I always read him when I can because he's eminently reasonable. That's the thing about him. No, no, he doesn't. And when it comes to let's let's take a look at Bill Gates and all his charity. Let's take a look at Warren Buffett. As some of you have, you know, because some of these people recover from being selfish. You know what I mean? They, they, I don't know what they think. Look, he, Bill Gates is pretty tough on people. He said, don't think you're going to be rewarded for not doing good work. You know, he, he was very, very tough on the young people who were coming into the field, but maybe that's just what's needed, you know? My brother Chase is also very tough on the people. He's also very tough on the people. He's giving money. He demands results from the money. The results. 
very much so. He's very, There's nothing very wrong with all of that. There's nothing wrong with all of that. Buffett R5, Warren Buffett 5. No, we have to be careful. Uh -huh. So you know when you're going to talk. Turn mine off, otherwise we get this big echo. Okay. Um, as long as we're in the third ray area, we have philosophers, we have thinkers. Here's another person that's obviously third ray, and you can say, well, what is his contribution to humanity? He certainly clarifies the intellect of humanity. People don't like necessarily what he says. He's a great linguist, and he demands. Oh, and absolutely, absolutely under the two sticks banner is Pope Francis. Now, you know, it's really hard. <laughs> And, um, but obviously, he's playing such a role in today's world, a role of sanity. And people say, you're, in, you're interfering where you don't belong, blah, blah, blah. But um, lucky we have him. He's so different. The other pope had his good academic virtues, but couldn't reach the people. Pope, Pope Francis is a combination of Cancer and Sagittarius. I forget which is the which, I think. It would do with the first ray a little bit in him. I'm sorry? Then he, I said Pope Francis, he could do with some first ray in his makeup some way. We can all okay. have along with, uh, uh, along with ray six. But, you know, I'm glad at this time that he's Pope. Now, remember what it says in the prophecy, this is the last Pope. Well, what does that mean? This is the last Dalai Lama. What does that mean? Um, let's see. Let's see what that means, because we are really in the end times, and it's very possible to attack the Vatican. <laughs> Very possible. Yes, Asha. Uh, the five minister Okay, I'm not gonna hear I'm not gonna hear You have the feeling at what he does. Modi? Modi? It's hard to say. Hard to say. The Hindus love the Hindus love the Hindus. Yeah. Um <clears throat> I don't know what to say about him. In my view, he's still in the political realm and has not proven over the years that he is a person of good when you kind of eliminate half your population and put them to the side. To me, that's the force of division. Now, I know the Muslims. Of, I understand what you're talking about. I'm sorry? My understanding is different. But I'm not going to go into Okay, okay. Okay, whatever. We can, we can, we can put him in the area. I would put it with a strong question mark. He's a great, great friend of Donald Trump, and they, and they, he seems to be operating by division at the moment, both in the Kashmir and um, also now. In his own uh, neighborhood, it's millions of people being disenfranchised. They can vote, they won't be voting. You know, what is that? So we'll just ask with a question mark and uh, I'll just say investigate. See, the, the first thing is these people absolutely have to be men and women of goodwill. How do you find one, really? What makes a man or woman of goodwill? 
and uh, as opposed, well, you know, you're not going to suggest Viktor Orban, are you? The head of Czech, of, of uh, Hungary? No, he's put a iron curtain or whatever you want to call it, a fence around this country, hasn't he? No one allowed. We are, you know, maybe he's correct. We are a Christian country. We don't need this. So that's that. You're not going to put Bolsonaro on this list, are you? Let's burn the forest. Who cares? You know, uh, some, some are politicians. Some are politicians with good impulses. Some are more humanitarians even than politicians. And I have to say that maybe Roosevelt was one, and uh, certainly we would be putting Lincoln down here um, because he was an avatar, says the Tibetan, chosen by the people, arising from the very soul of the people. But it's too early. There have been, you know, this is not yet the um, new group of World Service Time. It's all the little people that are joining that make it into something. We only know the luminaries. We can't go into all these groups and mention people that, you know, we just don't know. So we're mentioning the creme de la creme, um, the higher uh, strata of servers. That's what, we're, that's what we're doing here. But there's so many others. Now, let's see. Uh, and I have to, there's a lot of questions, a lot of, uh, lot of suggestions going on here. And I'm going to see what we've got. Mm. Okay, well, there's Gloria Steinem. She's a very powerful feminist, and uh, she's done a lot for the movement. It's hard to say, maybe more an idealist, you know. Uh, Stephen Hawking, um, well, of course, Paramahamsa Yogananda, he's... He might as well be a member of the hierarchy. He's an initiate. Stephen Hawking, we don't need God. Okay, uh, but he had a great, great mind, and he revealed many, many things. Is he is his mind on service in that way? I don't know. And now here is Jacinda Ardern who seems to be showing very positive um, political instincts, which are humanitarian at the same time. It's like, you know, we could say, yeah, maybe yes, maybe yes. It's too early to tell. We don't know yet. But it looks that way. Um, I'll tell you what we should do. Uh, is there a way, BL... I'm not going to just try to transfer all these things. Now, here's a, here, you know, this little girl. Michael. Thunberry. Michael. Better, you know, she's just starting. But that's like save the planet, you know. That's the kind of material you're talking about. Yes, Biel, go ahead. I retyped all of those comments in the chat box so everyone can see them. That's a great help. Thank you, Richard Branson. He has uh, the head of uh, many aviation, what is it, Virgin Atlantic? Is that his? Yeah. Yeah. Is he five? Of all of these people who has, uh, who seem to be owners and big CEOs, Branson seems to have the humanitarian attitude. Yes? Albert Einstein. Well, uh, yes, um, it's a little early. But you might say so. He struggled very hard to save humanity from uh, atomic destruction. Without the letter that he wrote to um, Roosevelt, 
basically gearing up the whole Manhattan Project. Uh, who knows what might have happened? They broke through the fifth ray. Ashram broke through. So Einstein, I see, I, I don't see any point now in me typing, 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 oh, all that. But we'll talk. What? Einstein five or two. Einstein did what? What ray? Oh, um, three and five with a second ray personality. And I once thought he might have had a second ray monad, but I don't think so now. I think it's the third ray. Uh, he he thought the whole universe could be um, understood through music. After all, he was a Pisces. And he had cancer rising. We discussed it before. The two mediumistic signs together, a Pisces with cancer rising. But he was very hard-headed, and that is demonstrated by Saturn and Mercury together in Aries. So he, you know, you say, oh, nice Einstein. He, he used to clown with the kids and, you know, pretend to be a goofus and all the rest of it. But no, he was very serious, very serious thinker. So, you know, um, that would be put down. And uh, Ramana Maharshi, it's, uh, I would agree with you, but it's just too early. It's before the servers were really founded. And uh, yes. Uh, uh, I'd like to mention Andrew Yang. He's the vice president of Andrew Yeah, I understand that. I, I just don't know yet. Okay. Do we know? See, how, how, what does it take for someone to really uh, prove themselves over time? What does it take? He's in there for, he's a, an executive, powerful, and he's a presidential candidate. Right, and he has very good ideas. He's, uh, there is a group self-organizing on the internet called Yang Yangers, and he also um, only has just over a million dollars. It's not like he has a whole lot of money. He has enough money to serve his family. <coughs> he can't retire. So I just some kind of idealism, and I think you have to look. look what DK said: political work is done by type. Types on three rays the first ray, the sixth ray, and the seventh ray. Now you look back at Benjamin Franklin, you look back at uh, Thomas Jefferson, that was seventh ray work. You look back at George Washington and some of those other more commanding presences like Lincoln, that's first ray work. And then you also get Jimmy Carter and people like that. <clears throat> That's <clears throat> sixth ray political work. I'm sorry. Gorbachev. Gorbachev. Yes, absolutely. Now, maybe Russia doesn't feel that way. I was in Russia in 1990 or 1991. They didn't like him. He didn't speak the king's Russian, the czar's Russian, and the shops were empty. I went into a shop there. I don't know what I thought I'd find. And there was one cake of lard. That was it. This was you know, supposed to be like a place where you could buy supplies and meat and things like that. One cake of lard. It was a tough time, and they blamed him for it. But his wisdom was very, very strong, so I want to put him down under the first ray. And he's a person for world peace, always warning about the danger that lies ahead when the hotheads get a hold of the situation. So... So Gorbachev, um, yes, yeah, there's a nice R, and I'm not sure how that's spelled, but uh, maybe close enough. Yes, Ash. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. Yes, seventh ray. Seventh ray. Someone mentioned uh, 
her earlier, and I believe so. She, there's no way. Yeah, she must have huge experience on the seventh ray. What has she done? What has she done for humanity? What do you think? Yes, very true. Uh, so many people in the church just hate her. You know, I mean, the old days, sixth ray hated the seventh ray, sixth ray hated the fifth ray. Now they don't hate the fifth ray so much, but they sure do hate the seventh ray, which is their replacement. So she has opened the possibility to a more magical society. Is it real magic? Is it magic with goodwill? Is it white magic? Mostly from her heroes, it is. It is. But remember that we are going to have to fight against the, what DK calls the purely mental magicians. Um, just thinking about religion and changing, you know that the second and the Buddha conjunction coming up from the last time that happened, uh, in I think it was two months, two months before that was when Martin Luther nailed the thesis on the door of the Wittenberg Church. Very so that was that was the last time, so I wonder what will happen this time that will affect the well, church. And who's going to do that? The only 90 something that Martin Luther brought about with the Reformation. So um May the power of the one life. May the love of the one soul characterize the lives of all who may, may we fulfill our part in the one world through self forgetfulness, harmlessness, and right speech. One minute silence. You were finished. Sorry, that conjunction was January 15, 18. The last time Sutton could have been done. 15, 18. And when was the reserves? And Martin Luther nailed it up two months before that. 
What does that say? Change. Now, Mark Luther, Luther, someone turn off their good. Do you know his sign? Martin Luther? He was a Scorpio with Leo rising. He was definitely first, he was first ray. And the Reformation came in. Well, look, we're up for some kind of in Reformation. Wait, I hear nothing. Oh. That I said, there is such a powerful first ray with that conjunction in Capricorn. You know, that the power, it's just, it, it cannot go unnoticed by a major reconstruction or regeneration, or I don't know, it could be uh, difficult to put what is going to happen, but it won't just go without nothing. It won't pass with nothing. No. And I just want to say one. We lost you, Michael. Yeah, that's because um, that's because I'm lost. Lost. Okay, there we go. Now you should have found me. Um, yes. We have to be very careful how fast we talk because we have to come back in. Martin Luther is a Scorpio. The Pluto was so important. And basically, he started what changed the entire Christianity as a first race soul, says DK. Okay, but of course, Martin Luther was the old school, and now we're experiencing it again. Along the same line, someone said Mother Teresa, which is absolutely correct. There's a person who year after year after year proved herself, as you might say, like an, they called her the uh, daughter of Kali or an incarnation of the goddess of death. She would, she would, uh, her, she dealt with the, uh, the dying people, the weak and the dying people, year after year. And she offered that opportunity for others to give themselves in service. Now that's really new group of world servers. It's along the sixth ray. She was going through terrible doubt. You know the story, yeah. but she just kept going. Just kept going. What, what about Martin Luther King? I could see him on a couple different rays. Definitely, right. I don't have you, Michael. And I don't know. It's a holiday for January 15th. Yeah, he is yeah, Capricorn. He's Capricorn. Capricorn. With Taurus rising. Okay. Oh, but it's twice better. There's, there's another one. Albert Schweitzer. Turn off. Um, the minute we have someone speak and then a response has to be made, we have to turn that off. Uh, he was born in the, uh, was it the 1870s, something like that? Had everything, a third degree initiate, had everything, and gave everything up to serve Schweitzer. And what ray would you put him under? He was a great musician. Are you on or are we on? I'm off now. We just asked it. Test, test. <laughs> That's better. Uh huh. Right. Very good. Okay, look, we're not going to continue forever here. We just want to get the idea. 
And the idea is that it's easier to find people on the second ray and the sixth ray and so forth than it is on some of the uh, other rays. So who were we just talking about? Albert? Now, of course, he was, um, I don't know what year he died. Was it in the 40s? Someone can look that up. He was a uh, Libra, probably was Scorpio rising. <laughs> yeah, there are many. Okay. And here's Mati. How do you spell Atasari? Marty. say yes yeah. on the second ray and but not having really had the chance to develop it but yes I well I don't well you know to think of what it could have been okay but yes I would say you know, just because you're royalty doesn't mean anything. Prince Andrew is not. Princess Diana is. Right? Okay, look. That's enough. You get the idea. The idea is that it requires a great deal of honest research and the people who are the leaders in this kind of group and stand at a higher position have to have had the opportunity to really prove themselves before humanity and then there's all the other people who are on the second degree probably never heard of them and then there's all the men and women of goodwill who are aspiring to become true members of the new group of world servers. And there's just so many people now that are rightly oriented. But it take, it's a group project in a way to go through the rays and find out who's serving and in what way. You know, we, we know we're missing things here, big, big things. I wouldn't necessarily go into the pit of the New York Stock Exchange and expect to find servers on the third ray, nor would I look for, uh, what do they call them, uh, hedge fund managers. You know, this is greed. Give me everything. I don't care what you have. I want to get all I can. And yet there are people 
um, who definitely uh, belong there. There was a statement made that the richest among us this last year made 1.4 or 1.2 trillion dollars. And that's got to come from somewhere, doesn't it? They're not just printing money. So it's just obvious that the rich are becoming richer and the poor are being uh, lied to and told they are becoming richer. But they're really essentially, when the bottom drops out, they will see like everybody else. It seems very easy, the love wisdom, to find the love wisdom types in this group. Maybe it's just easy for us. I, I'm not necessarily going to include um, the fifth ray guy that's with the new cars. What's his name again? Elon Musk. 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 Elon Musk. I can't really say that. He is an entrepreneur. He is progressive. All that. He's got a lot of issues. I can't say that. There's a lot of prominent people that you cannot say they are members of the new group of world service. They're in their arena. They're doing what they do. But they're not necessarily people of proven, effective, group conscious goodwill. Not yet. So we have to be extremely uh, discriminating in this whole question. And so the same goes, if you will, uh, yeah, just, you know, get, uh, assemble what people have written. And we can see then, um, um, hold on. Yes, I'll send you the question and answer report that will have all of their comments. Okay, that's good, because obviously some are correct and some are not. But at least the idea is to think in this direction. Now, who is speaking? I just sent you and the copy. That I've been making. For this oh, you've been making it too. Yes. You asked me. Okay, we all look it over. All right, which one is that? In the Archangel School, keep your eyes open. At the very end of every meditation report, who do you recognize as a member of the new group of? servers because it sensitizes you to who's really doing the master's work and you can find these people it's not necessarily the average good person we have lots of average good people but they're not really ongoingly committed to the welfare of humanity along a certain ray line but they're helpful okay so we have to discriminate between the high-powered people who are going to serve and serve and serve and serve and those who say, yeah, I, I love my fellow man and I wish everything was just fine with everybody. But then there are the workers. That's the key. And, and you ask yourself, are you one that says, yeah, I like Everybody to be happy. I don't do a lot about it, but I'd like them to be happy. Or are you a real worker on behalf of some area of the divine plan? Right? Do you are you leaving? Yeah. Okay, because I'm about to close it down. Are there any questions? The fact of belonging to this group of new world service does not take into account the failures, many failures that we still have personally, or these people that we have mentioned. This doesn't matter. I mean, it runs 
in parallel, the fact of developing oneself in a good condition and uh, doing a good work for humanity. Like I say, probably a lot of these people maybe are circling around the third initiation or have done a lot of work on the second initiation. Um, that's not everybody. And you don't have to be an esotericist. Matter of fact, most are not. They're helping without knowing a thing about all the stuff that we study so hard. So lots of people are slowly getting their strength to emerge. And maybe one day they emerge as prominent. I mean, look who was up Oprah in the beginning. That's an amazing story. She's just a, a person who was abused and had a really tough life. And then what was it about her? Obviously paying a lot of karma, but a high soul, right? Obviously. So we can be surrounded by people who have the real deep ability, and we don't recognize it. <clears throat> so, out of all this, what would you say? To you, would you like to say something? I would like to say that this has been a wonderful week. And we are <clears throat> closing our webinars. But like, we were earlier already deciding with the bill that we will collect the comments of people when we were sharing. I was just thinking, what about that we will make a little, um, what is that in English, this kind of like that. So collecting these comments, and you could still send for us comments about your um, experiences and your insights, your ideas, and then put this together. So that they have uh, some kind of established thing that everybody could have in their hands. And I want to really thank everybody. So far, we still continue. We have a closing ceremony starting at uh, 6, 6 uh, 10 p.m. GMT. And then after that, there is uh, 8 p.m. GMT going to be um, the closing for the global silence circle and uh, the, the 2025 initiative is the host so i don't know is it going to be sent from jerusalem or from new york i don't know that but the link will come so we will participate into that and that's it for today but because this is not only uh, stopping now right now so it is descending in us and um, it's good to contemplate and let us all remember now when when um these um, programs are stopping that we still continue our inner work and uh, all these openings what has happened and all these um wonderful realizations being connected all around the world so that we we just stand still and um, continue work hard learn more become better and more and more effective and the vision can grow so there is a lot for us still to do and by the way i just want to if I could transmit for you the image from here. And um, it's basically the one who is uh, the leader is almost awake and all the time the rest of the group is napping here and there. So we can see that it has been taking already some, uh, some uh, how do you say, Paul? Some time, uh, what is that in English, Michael? Yeah, <laughs> so that 
But um, anyway, thank you so very much for everybody. Thank you, last thing, and thank you for going last. And Michael, would you would you like to turn your the camera there that we can wave to people? Or shall I do that? What about I do? So I will do that. I try. If it is going to work. I'm not quite sure. Hello. <laughs> and look at that. There is the group <laughs> waving to all of you. Lots of love from us. And, and, and hear you again in the broadcast at 6, 10 p.m. GMT. So nicely they are sitting and, and participating. <laughs> yes, I have written, but I'm not quite sure. Is it correct? I tried to contact to Sasha. Wonderful. And by the way, Alex is sending her love to everybody. Give my love to all the uh, sisters. So I give the love from Alex to everybody. She would like to participate, but cannot at the moment. final silent work. It's been quite a week, and uh, I know a lot of you have been with us quite faithfully and doing your own <coughs> celebration of the servers and attempt to understand very faithfully. And uh, it, it's demanding, and we haven't scratched the surface yet. We have not, but we know more than we knew before, and hopefully we feel a deeper uh, sense of participation in this behind the scenes, a uh, subjective support for the good that is trying to emerge on the outer level. That's what we're here to do, and I, I can assure that in the next five years, everything you've got will be called for. Okay, lots of love, many blessings, and we'll see you uh, in about three hours, a little less, and then uh, after that, we'll close the whole process. And what, eat ice cream or what? I'm, I'm not sure what is the fitting thing to do, but... Uh, Something like that. Okay. Bye bye for now. Bye bye.